people want to do business in North Carolina, and I think a lot of companies, and I think a lot of other entities who initially signed on to these bands and, and, got, in, and got on this bandwagon about boycotting North Carolina and not being a part of North Carolina are having a little bit of buyer's remorse and are themselves now trying, looking for a way to, to, to get out of this mess. I think there's a lot of people who, who, who realize they may have made a mistake on this. And I think there are a lot of folks out there who felt like if they, enough people piled on that this General Assembly would fold. And I think it's been very clear where a year later, we have not folded. But you know, if you look overall at our state, you know, when you talk about the economic issues, at the end of the day, people are moving to the state. We've got record on it. We've got record low unemployment. We've got record growth in the state's economy. I mean, things are going great. Uh, it's you, you got. We're here in Raleigh right now. Go try to find an apartment in this town right now. It's a wait list. I mean, it's it, it, you know the rural areas are still challenged, but it has nothing to do with this. I mean, it's we have great things going. But I, like a lot of North Carolinians, want to find a way to get what I think, frankly, is unfair in a lot of ways, to get a lot of this unfair stigma off of us. And so if there's things we can do, changes we can make to help fix this, I want to see that we can do it. And that's, you know, that's what we're trying to do.